These are special types of problems on relative motion with river boats and swimmers. So this is, we're just talking about a current here. So there's two basic types of problems. One is when the motion's in the same direction and we're going up and downstream. So if we're going upstream, then our boat obviously is going to get slowed down. So the velocity that the boat we see the boat have, that's what we see the boat go up the stream with, is the boat's velocity minus the current's velocity, because that's how much it's going to slow it down. When the boat is going with the current, then it, the, it's being helped, and so you're going to see the boat actually, the relative velocity is actually what you see happen. And you have to remember all these things are vectors. So the boat's going to be helped by the stream. The stream's going to push it downstream, and it's going to be going faster. So you're going to add the boat and the current's velocities. So a classic problem, one you probably saw in Algebra 1, is when a boat was traveling downstream. So we've got our river. We've got our boat. And the boat's traveling downstream, and the current has a stream of 5 meters per second. We don't know the velocity of the boat. But we do know that the speed it goes downstream is the sum of those two velocities v plus 5, whatever that is. And it takes it one hour, so the time to go downstream is one hour. And then coming back, when it, on its way back, its velocity upstream is going to be the boat's velocity, we don't know what it is, minus the river. And it takes it an hour and a half to do that. Now here's the trick. The boat went downstream, the boat came back upstream, it traveled the same distance. And that's what's really important. It went the same distance. And guess what? We are still using our sixth grade equation Distance equals rate times time. So let's shrink this stuff down a little bit, move it out of the way. Okay, we're still going to be using our nice sixth grade equation, distance equals rate times time. And we said the two distances, upstream and downstream, are the same. So upstream, our rate was V minus 5 and our time was 1.5 hours and that's going to equal our downstream distance and our rate was V plus 5 times the 1 hour and those guys are going to be equal to each other. So we solve the equation and we should get that the velocity is equal to 25 meters per second, if I remember my answer correctly. So here's a classic problem. We have our swimmer swimming upstream at 2 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees. That's what this here is. Okay, she's going upstream 2 meters per second. She's making an angle with the shore of 60 degrees. And the river itself is a hundred meters across. So how long does it take her to cross the river if the river has a current of five meters per second? Okay, our across the river, just like when we were doing vectors or the projectile motion, our across the river and our downstream are totally independent of each other. So really, all we have to do is worry about how fast she's going across the river because we want her across the river distance. So let's make this, put this out of the way. Okay, she is going 2 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees across the river upstream. So, 
how much of that is across the stream? How much of that's across the stream? And you can see we've got our right triangle and that's the Y component. So her velocity across the stream is equal to two times the sine of 60 degrees. So it equals 1.73 meters per second. So that's how fast she's going across the river. And then, hey, you know what? For all of these problems, distance equals rate times time. It still works. So our distance across the river, 100 meters, is equal to our rate, 1.73, times our time. So we find out our time is 57.7 seconds. That's pretty good across the river. And then you could ask yourself, how far downstream does she land? What's her net resultant velocity? That would be adding the two vectors. So there's all kinds of problems that you can put on top of these. But the main thing to remember is that your horizontal and your vertical are still independent of each other. And all you're doing is using distance equals rate times time on both sides because there is no acceleration. We're just going at constant speed. We're swimming at constant speed. Current's going at constant speed, so we can use distance equals rate times time. All right. Have any questions? Email me. Send me questions. Whatever. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.